let's fly. Alright, here we go. Hey! <laughs> I love how you clap as soon as I pulled up, man. It's a, a warm welcome. You're stuck inside just like I am. But there's a very important event happening for you right now. What's it been like being stuck at home during Ramadan? We do a fast. So from sunrise to sunset, we're not allowed to eat, not allowed to drink. It's actually a very celebratory time because it's this mm. communal thing that we're all doing. This year, obviously, things are very different due to the coronavirus. To have my family that close, but not be able to visit them, it's heartbreaking for me. We can't have breakfast together. We can't have dinner together. We can't uh, go to the mosque together. As you're saying this, I'm thinking, I don't go to church. Um, I didn't grow up really Christian, and I'm not. I'm just thinking, man, if this was happening during Christmas, and you tell me I can't visit my family, on Christmas, I'd lose my mind. That's how it feels. The sense of community, the sense of togetherness, the sense of celebration. I tried to get a little bit back. And Animal Crossing ended up being the place where I could do that. So you tweeted out, hey, I'm doing Ramadan in Animal Crossing. What kind of response did you expect? I put a call out on Twitter and I kind of expected maybe if five to ten people to respond and the response was so immediately overwhelming that it, i i just couldn't keep up with how many messages i was getting the other reason that i did this right is because animal crossing was doing an easter event right before it is officially bunny day and i was kind of thinking of maybe there would also be a ramadan event right uh, if you have easter in a game and it's tied to the real date and the real time then Ramadan can also absolutely exist in this game. But obviously it didn't. When people come to your Animal Crossing island, what are you doing? I built this little place that is very much inspired by the places that I saw growing up around Egypt, where during uh, Ramadan, there would be these big communal tables or even just carpets on the ground with uh, food. You wouldn't necessarily uh, know everybody there, but for a moment, you'd be family. We will turn on this group phone call with some friends of mine uh, that are visiting, sometimes complete strangers from all over the world. Uh, some are fasting, some of them are not. What made everybody want to come to this? It's like the feeling of not being alone during Ramadan. It feels pretty comforting. Do you think there'll be a point where, say, next year, Ramadan, that it would be in the game? I would love that. Because in the games industry, the amount of Muslims that have the ability to argue or champion these ideas is relatively low. Older versions of Animal Crossing, they had basically a Christmas in there. Spend Christmas with us in Animal Crossing New Leaf. So it's not like there's never holidays in, in this game or in any game. So they exist. A lot of people say, well, it's not a commercial holiday. No, I mean, is that the litmus test for whether we should include something? Like whether we should represent something? But also it's just not true. The thing that happens to Muslims in games is for the bad guys and we get shot uh, by the hero who is not Muslim. So to have Islam in a game in a context that is positive, is just kind of unheard of. You have all this freedom in video games, these these incredible worlds that you can partake in. Mm -hmm. And to be a Muslim in a game, you have to build it yourself. 